Hi, I'm Paula Barish, a developer evangelist with Microsoft Canada. I'm really excited to have this video for you uh, where we're going to be talking about where you can get the developer tools for building apps and games for the phone, uh, specifically Windows Phone 7 and uh, our new Mango Windows Phone 7.5 release that's coming up very, very soon, if not by now, the time that you actually see this video. So the first thing that you need to do is actually download the tools. Visual Studio, Expression Blend, XNA Studio, everything that you need to actually start building games and apps for Windows Phone 7, you can get from the App Hub. The App Hub is found at create.msdn.com. So everything that you need to start is actually right there. So there's links to actually download the application uh, tooling that you need to actually build your applications. Uh, we provide uh, membership resources so that you can actually uh, register as a developer which is really important because in order to sideload an app to do your testing on a phone, an actual device itself, uh, you do need uh, a registration to unlock your device from a developer standpoint and also to actually publish your games you'll need that uh, capability as well. You'll need to actually be a registered developer so those are two main things that you really have to think about when you're actually uh, building for the apps and games. In addition, the App Hub does have a whole bunch of resources for you to actually uh, learn how to build apps and games for the phone. So developer resources on building applications using Silverlight, they're all there. Uh, developer resources for building games in XNA, which is actually the same framework that's being used to actually build Xbox games. So that's kind of exciting as well. So if you know how to build games for the Xbox, it's very transferable to, uh, to the phone as well. And vice versa, if you start building games for uh, for, for the phone, you can actually do that for the Xbox as well. So that's a great thing because the App Hub does provide you with a whole bunch of great information on uh, how to build apps and games. But once you've downloaded the tooling so that you can build those apps and games, there's a whole bunch of goodness that are in the tooling itself. So one of the things that we've done a very good job and we've been very cognizant of is we want to make sure that we're doing the right things for you so that you can actually build your apps and games quickly and with as little pain as possible so that you can actually get your app out there and uh, start selling it or start providing it for users on the marketplace. So the typical stuff that you've done before on Visual Studio, for example, you know, create project new, all those types of things, uh, we do have that capability. So you start up Visual Studio uh, for building an application you know, start, new project, create project, all those types of things. Uh, we do provide you with a whole bunch of templates as to what kind of phone apps that you want to build. So whether it's just a straight phone application, uh, a pivot application, a pano application, or even just a, a class library that you might need for multiple different apps, we do provide that capability to you. Uh, once you've actually done that and created your project within you know, a matter of seconds, you can actually start building your app. So you can actually go into Expression Blend to do your UI design. So everything from creating buttons and all sorts of gradients if you need it and everything else like that. Uh, everything is there for you to actually start building a great experience for your users. Then once you're done with that, you can actually go back to Visual Studio, do the code behind. So code behind is a uh, feature within our Visual Studio components for foam where you have your screen and your screen is your layout and everything else like that, but there's code behind it that actually defines the functionality. So Visual Studio is great for doing the functionality components, so making sure that the code does what it needs to. Expression Blend is great for doing the visuals and, and the interactive design and everything else like that. So once you've done that and you've done your code behind and you've done your UI design and everything else like that, you can actually start deploying your application to a phone if you've developer unlocked it, which again requires you to be a, a full-fledged member of, uh, of the App Hub, or you can actually uh, deploy it to the emulator. So we do provide an emulator as part of the uh, uh, tooling as well for free so that you can actually do your testing without even having a device available, which is something that a lot of developers uh, are in that same scenario. So. Uh, definitely something for you to take a look at. Uh, I encourage you to build apps and games for the phone. It's a great experience. It's a lot of fun. And if you're interested in telling me all about it, uh, feel free to. I would love to hear from you about your killer app, killer game, whatever it is that you're actually building for our phone. So again, I thank you for your time and uh, happy coding.